In this lesson, you are going to learn about first-hand data and second-hand data. And um, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, we're going to go through a few examples and really see what is included in first-hand data and second-hand data. So, um, first of all, what is data? And so basically, it is all of these things. It's numbers, it's facts, it's observations, measurements, graphs, information, and quantities. So if we're recording something, um, and like taking down numbers of something, then that is data. Um, and so the difference between first-hand data and second-hand data is um, with first-hand data, you collect it yourself. So if you yourself collect it, then to you, it's first-hand data. Um, if I collect data, like if I take a tally of whose favorite animal is what in the class, if it's me just doing it, um, then it's my first-hand data and your second-hand data. Now, if we do that together as a class, then it's all of our first-hand data, and then it would be like another class of second-hand data or something. Okay, so first-hand data, we do it ourselves. Then second-hand data is data that's collected by somebody else. Um, just think about it as like a second person, not you. Uh, it, you're like the second person getting it if it's something. So um, this could be um another teacher or another class collecting data and then giving it to us or it could be like the canadian government collecting data or like the world health organization collecting data um whatever it is if you didn't collect it then it's secondhand data it was given to you then it's secondhand data um okay so here's an example so it says uh mrs rosada's class studied weather the students measured the rainfall for five days for Mrs. Rosada's class, these results are first-hand data. For you, these are second-hand data. So you can see how much rain fell each day, five millimeters, nine millimeters, zero millimeters, 12 millimeters, and then zero millimeters. Um, and so for them, that's their first-hand data because they measured it with their rain gauge and then they wrote down the numbers themselves. Um, during the five days that measurements were taken, we know that more rain fell on Thursday than any other day. We can see right there, Thursday is 12 millimeters. That's more than any other ones. And then there were two days where there was no rain that fell at all. And so it's just like, that's the observation we can make is just by looking at the data and then seeing like comparing it. Okay, so here's a first example, first-hand data or second-hand data. So um, it says, how do you usually get to school? Take turns to, tr to draw a tally mark in the correct row. Uh, this is would be something we would do at school if we were there, but we're not. <laughs> um, and they found the tallies to complete the third column of the table what do you know from the data in the table so first of all is this first hand data and second or second hand data if we were to actually do this it is first hand data right because we are taking this um, and then to answer those questions here are some of the things that we could have answered so um, what do we know from the table i i just put in some random um, marks um, that could be the answers for this and so it says the most common way to get to school is by bus because there's eight people that take the bus in this situation. Uh, the least common way to get to school is other. And in my head, that was a skateboard. <laughs> um, and then the other, another thing that we can know is there are 20 people in this class because I added up all these numbers. And I got 20. So yeah, that is this one. So uh, the next one is, first of all, we want to know is this first or second hand data. So it says elementary school students across Canada answered the same question that we just did in the last example. Um, here are the results for 100 students. Um, and so here we've got it right here. You can see it. Uh, again, we've got bicycle, bus, car, walk, and other, just like you had in the um, first one. Um, what might someone need to know that, or why might someone need to know this data? Uh, compare your data with the get data given. How are the data the same? How are they different? So um, your data is this one <laughs> in our example here. Um, and so first of all, that is secondhand data because uh, somebody else took that data. Um, and then these are some of the answers. So why might someone need to know these data? Well, maybe this data might give an idea of how far away kids live from school. Because if they're taking the bus or a car, they probably don't live within walk or biking distance. Um, there are other reasons, but that was one example. And then to compare, so how are the data the same? Uh, the top two ways in both, both of them are a bus and then walk. So in the one that I made up, which I didn't actually pay attention to this when I made it. So it's funny that it did that. Um, and then walk was the second top one, just like in the last um, one. I can go to that one. It's right here. See, bus and walk are a top 
top ones, just like in this one. And then, um, but for this survey, what's different is there were more people surveyed in this one. There was 100 in this one and there was 20 in the other one. Um, other differences is um, there's way more people that take each thing. Um, and then th I thought it was funny for similarities that bicycle has both has three on it. Um, and so, yeah, that is the basics of the lesson. You're just uh, figuring out firsthand data and secondhand data. And then from there, you are, um, you also have to do the mathletics um, assessment that I put on there. So yeah, hope you have fun with it.